let's examine this function i want to find out whether this is functionally complete or not if it has to be functionally complete it should be at least uh, able to derive two operations one is uh, one is definitely this not complement and other is either plus or or it is up to you either you could do uh, sorry either you could do anding or you could do you know oring it is up to you so first thing is for sure you should be able to derive complement now how can you derive the complement from this so uh, just see always remember one thing one thing that helps is whenever such a function is given you substitute everything to be one variable then you know it generally turns out to be easy one so if i have f of a b c you try to put f of a a a and check what happens which means in place of a b and c you are going to put a then what do you get a prime plus a a prime which is nothing but a prime all right so what did you get um, we we are able to realize the complementation right so from this what do you understand it is very easy to realize the complementation using this given function now if the function has to be functionally complete if this one has to be functionally complete you should either try to derive and or or if you derive one of it then the other can be any was derived isn't it therefore maybe if you observe it i think deriving plus is easy the reason is somehow if i could negate it if i negate it what do i get a and here i i let b be there like that and then here also i negate it but then i put b so if i make this one as b c complement as b and this one leave it as b and if i make a complement as a then i can make it as a plus b so how can i make it is see in place of a in place of this one i want a complement of a therefore what i write is in place of this a i want to make this complement therefore in place of this a i am going to write a complement of it if i already write a complement here see if i get if i want to get a here then i have to get a complement here now how can i get a complement here by this therefore i am going to write in place of this first a i want a complement therefore i am going to write f of a a a this is nothing but writing a complement right now once i have written a complement automatically it is going to be a right I'll, i'll just show you what is happening and then in place of b i want to leave it as b therefore let b be like that okay and now in place of c uh, i want b complement so what i write is in place of c if i get b complement then if i put b complement here that will become whole complement right so i i try to write f of b b and b now just see what has happened this entire thing is nothing but a complement this thing is nothing but b and this entire thing is nothing but b complement so in effect what has happened is you have produced a complement b and a complement now you take this and you substitute in the formula what is the formula a complement so uh, see in place of a we have to substitute a complement therefore in place of a i am substituting a complement a complement whole complement right we already know how to evaluate the nested functions first you had evaluate this and then the remaining if i evaluate it it is nothing but a complement if i evaluate it, it is nothing but b complement that is why i am directly putting it there plus so what is b b is simply left as b and what is c here if c is here then we get c complement but then here b complement is in place of c therefore what is it b complement whole complement then what is it a plus bb which is nothing but a plus b therefore what is this uh, r is implemented so using only the function f you can check it only using the function f i am able to derive a plus b therefore i am able to derive a uh, plus sorry plus as well as complement therefore this is functionally complete now since you have derived plus and you know how is it functionally complete is using these two operations you can derive and maybe it will be interesting exercise why don't you try maybe you try to derive using this one uh, you try to derive the and right so you do it and you will find out that you know uh, that is also a way to prove that it is functionally complete it will be interesting try it okay